cars honking, noodles sizzling, crowds chatting. One year on since coronavirus lockdown sealed the city of Wuhan, a place where 11 million people live. The pace of life is picking up. It's starting to resemble something that looks a lot more normal. Residents have joined massive crowds for a summer pool party and more recently to ring in 2021. They squeeze into breakfast shops for spicy sesame noodles, a local favorite. Others sing and dance along the Yangtze River. Government clinics are giving out vaccines. And over at the Huanan Market, where infections first emerged in late 2019, a section of that market has reopened. Many now say Wuhan is the safest place in the world. And if you don't believe them, just take a look at the open shops, the open schools. That, they say, is evidence that everything is under control. But still, many admit that they're worried, and draconian lockdowns came at a personal cost. Some Wuhan residents questioned the veracity of the death toll that the government had announced. Others are trying to sue the government, saying that its cover-up led to the untimely death of their relatives. Face masks are still required, temperature checks are everywhere, and hotels advertise free face masks, free sanitizer, alongside a free breakfast. In the last few weeks, there's been a bit of deja vu. An outbreak in northeast China, more than 600 miles away from Wuhan, has meant that some restrictions are coming back into place. Bars and restaurants are limited to 75% capacity, and large gatherings are prohibited. Posters that remind residents here to wear face masks, to wash their hands frequently, and to maintain a one-meter safe distance from each other. Those posters that had gotten ripped down last year are going back up. And that means that for the second year in a row, Chinese New Year may be a quiet one. But that is something many here say they're used to, the new normal.